Aha! Hello, Dinky Doo, it's me, Scotty McClue, and we are, of course, live on the big one, Facebook Live. Welcome, 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 I say. So much to talk about, and so little time to do it in. Now, this is just a quick Thursday night pop up. I'll just see and grab some more light. There we go, a little bit more light for us. I think that's quite important. Uh, you can never really have too much light, I always say. There's my old friend Jeff Webster has just joined us. Dinky do, Jeff. And a very warm welcome to Scotty McClue's Thursday evening pop-up. This is the big one. This is the one everyone's talking about. This is the one everyone is watching. And uh, we have a lot to get through tonight and so little time to do it in. So welcome, 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 I say. We're on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform. I am Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. Thanks be to Facebook Live for bringing us this program live tonight. And welcome, 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 I say. We're trying some different lighting until we see which is the best solution for you and which is the best solution for me. Very, very hot in the studio. Good evening, Scotty, says Catherine Murray. Good evening, Catherine. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm dinky do from me, Scotty McClue. One of the purposes of tonight's program, you'll see it there, is just to make sure that everybody realises that if Scotland goes independent, the Crown will still be our main focus, and Her Majesty the Queen will be our sovereign lady. And uh, it's quite important. I had an argy-bargy with a guy tonight that couldn't seem to get his head round this. So there we are. Good evening, Scotty, says Neil O'Gormley. Good evening, Neil. Lovely to have you with us. Good morning, Scotty, from Australia. Yes, you are the Lord Mayor, says Erica Mayor. Fantastic. Alex Roberts is watching. Lisa Clark, Peter Morrison, Roberto White, says Danielle White. So he's just letting everybody know that McClure is doing a quick pop-up just for you to say dinky-doo on a Thursday evening. No lights would be best for you, says Thomas Cochrane. A little bit cheeky, Thomas, but nevertheless, we understand. I think you need some very bright lights for me. How's that? Is that better? There you go. We can have no lights or very, very bright lights. I say, I don't know. I think that's quite good, actually. Very, very interesting. We'll see what happens. We'll get a bit more of that. How's that? Oh, a little bit too ghostly. Anyway, I, as you know, there's Joseph Gibbons. Hello, sir. How are you? Hello, Joseph. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do from me, Scotty McClure. Marvelous stuff. Sorry, just jumping you all about here a little bit. I'm seeing if I can bring a bit more light for you. So there we are. We are broadcasting from a secret location, of course. Kevin McDonald's watching David Rendell. Excellent. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, folks, and you've never, ever seen me before, you're talking to Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, and, of course, the world's top broadcaster. Thank you so much to everybody who watched Sunday night's programs. Many, many thousands of you. Last night, I think about uh, 1,400 of you saw the pop-up last night. So, excellent stuff. How are you and what's the latest in your pet fox? Says Erica Meyer. I haven't seen the fox for some time, Erica, because I'm working on a very big project at the moment. So, I'm broadcasting from a secret location. God and Elric's watching Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us. Now, many of our regulars will already have gone to bed. So we'll just have to say good night, Dinky Do, and God bless to them, I say, from me, Scotty McClue. VJ Dukram's watching. Come on here and uh, let's see what's happening. The best kept secret location is Twecha. Where? See, I told you. No, I know Twecha. Very, very well. I had lunch in Twecha, down at the wee pub there. I would say Twecha, very, very close to Condorit. Am I right? So there we are, quite close to Condorit and to Cumbernauld. Twecha, yes, McClue knows Twecha very, very well. Loving the barnet, Scotty. Let's have a dig at the single mothers, says Sean Anderson. No, 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 the single mothers have been behaving themselves. I say, if you don't want to be a single mother... Don't have a bairn. Don't have a wean. So there we are. Hi, Denise, says Stephen Dunn. Dinky-doo. 
Lovely to have you with us, Ian Archibald's watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, very warm welcome. Scotty, are you familiar with a band leader called Marty Peake? Uh, no, I'm not, Joseph. Sorry about that. Um, I can't go to that one. Are you familiar with Geraldo and his orchestra? Jerry Geraldo. Look that one up. That'll suit you. Keep you out of mischief. Murray O'Donnell's watching. Thank you, do. Good morning from the Southern Highlands of New South Wales, says Ali Haining. Fantastic, Ali. Lovely to be with you and dinky-doo. Glasgow are playing host to the European Championships from tomorrow. Are you a fan, Scotty, says Lee Fern. Well, I have so many interests in my wonderful life. Um, I've got to be a fan of some of these things, no doubt about it. Val Irvin's watching dinky-doo. John Rogers, Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're all watching Scotty McClure, the World's Top Broadcaster and the First Lord of the Internet. One of the purposes of tonight's program, as you will see, is if Scotland becomes independent, is everybody aware that the focus will still be the Crown and that Her Majesty the Queen will be our Sovereign Lady. Some man-on-man -man action, says Sean Anderson. Erica Meyer says, hi all. She's uh, out in Australia. He's out in Australia. Sorry about that. Colin McMillan, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff. Hi, Ali from Tasmania, says Erica. Uh, Mary Allen, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty McClue, broadcasting live on Facebook Live. That is the big one. The one everyone's watching and the one everyone is talking about. Questions tonight. You're a clever guy, uh, says Jim Blair. Thanks, Jim. Nice of you to say that. And uh, Alexander Ferguson. Scotty, with that athletic body, you should be participating in the Euros. So there you are. Francis Basili is watching one of the finest lovable lassies of the big switchboard that I have ever had. And she's watching Dinky Do. Marvelous stuff. Michael Yule, lovely to have you with us. We're broadcasting, of course, globally around the world right now. Excellent stuff. Michael Yule, lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do. You're watching Scotty McClure, of course. The world's top broadcaster, Marty Paik, conducted the orchestra on the Ray Charles Classic. I can't stop loving you. I can't stop loving you. And uh, he's the father of Toto founder member, David Page. Lovely. Thank you for that. Thank you. Fabulous to see you, Scotty. Lovely to pop up. You have a really good point. The focus will be on the crown. And there'll be no ifs or buts. This will need to be discussed because there are many indie supporters and I can't press see more, Barbara. I'm so sorry because I don't want to lose the broadcast. John Simpson watching, dinky do. Uh, Paul Maxwell, dinky do. Thomas Cochran, an independent Scotland within the British Commonwealth. Oh, and in Europe. What do you think? Yes, I am up for that. But people tend to confuse the Scottish crown, the English crown, 1603 and 1707. There's no direct connection between the Union of the Crowns and the Union of Parliament. And the Crown, the monarchy, is effectively a Scottish institution because it was the Scottish King that brought the modern monarchy into being. So there you are. James the Sixth of Scotland became James the First of England, and that was the United Kingdom under the Stuarts. Well, it wasn't the United Kingdom then. It was Scotland, England, Ireland, and Wales under the Stuart monarchy. Oh no, someone's left their padded cell, says John Adams. Get back in, John. Get back in. Calm, calm now. In you go. Nobody will say a word. Nobody's seen you. Nurse, uh, Joseph Mark is watching. Dinky do. The plan was always quite rightly to have independence with the Queen as head of state, says Gary Crossan. Yes, of course, otherwise you won't get independence, Gary Crossan, because you need Her Majesty the Queen's good offices to sign the uh, bill so that it becomes an act. There we are. King James rewrote the Bible. Kaliana Amira, you are quite right. Yes, the King James version. I wouldn't say he rewrote it, but there is, he approved it. So there we are. Stephen Mooney and Martin Monaghan watching. Thank you, dear. A very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster and fast lord 
of the internet with a quick pop-up. That light is on the peat there. I wonder if we move it up and over. Does that look better? So there we are. Moving lights about. John Tom's Dinkadoo. Billy Frew is watching. Sharice has joined us. Sharice Dinkadoo. Now, guys, it's probably time for a share. I'm just going to keep an eye on the time tonight. It's uh, just after quarter to 11. So if we can share, 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 share. First big share of the night. Uh, we can have another referendum after independence on becoming a republic. Yeah, but we won't be becoming a republic ever. Do you understand that? We're only going to go independent if we can always have the crown. Uh, Britain tried the republic thing and it failed terribly. Uh, yes, become an independent Commonwealth country, says Will MacArthur. Absolutely, but the Scottish crown will always be the focus and Her Majesty the Queen or her heirs and successors will be holding that high office. Oi, oi, did you do? Says Sharice, share, share, share. Yes, excellent. James Dundas, nope, disagree. Now, James Dundas, you can't just see no disagree. You've got to justify yourself. Like Australia, says Kaliani, uh, Kaliana Amira. Kaliana Amira, yes, a bit like Australia and Canada and New Zealand. Uh, people who want a republic think. No, they don't think. That's the problem. They're not thinking at all at the moment. This is why I have to do the programme. Prince William's a descendant of the Stuarts, so that's Scottish history. We need to terminate the 1707 Act of Union, not the 1603. Union of the Crown, says Martin Marachan. Martin Marachan, go to the top of the class. You are 100% correct. Scott Grant's watching. Dinky Doo, Charisse is with us. Dinky Doo, Shirley Cooper, excellent to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, thank you to the millions. Poor old Jim Blair just does not get it, I say. Thank you to the millions who um, have watched this program on Facebook Live since the start. Last count, two and a half million of you. Uh, so there we are. Pity we were duped the last time. Trust politicians. A president is open to, and I missed that. Martin, we can't terminate the 1707, because the next train after that isn't till uh, 1855. <laughs> I do like that. <laughs> Car share, says Caris Allison. There we are. Hi, Scotty. You're welcome, mate. I was in Canada for two weeks and have jet lag and wrecked and my wrecked and you wrecked Michael Yule dinky do just back from Canada excellent lovely to have you with us keep sharing guys share and share and share Scotty McClue Scotty McClue doing a quick pop up just for you to say dinky do this Thursday evening and also to say is everyone aware that if Scotland were to become independent then Her Majesty the Queen would be our sovereign lady as well. Don't agree with the Scottish Indies, Scotty. We're a very small island by comparison and rely heavily on each other. Yes, but Westminster are not acknowledging that. They are taking £40 billion at least a year out of Scotland, uh, giving us back pocket money, and it's not good enough. Margaret Thatcher sucked the life out of Scotland and the north of England, and that money needs to come back to Scotland. So we need to get that going. Get the name right, Scotty. We also need to stop the la -de da attitude uh, between Mrs May and Ms Sturgeon. Mrs May needs to realise that it's 50-50, even though we're only 5 million, and that England is 55 million, uh, you know, or there's another 55 million in the UK. Scotland is 50-50 under the Act of Union. So there you are. Ken, 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 says so Sharice, of course. Karen Martin, dinky do. I just thought I'd make that clear to everybody. Uh, not if Scotty, says Thomas Cochran. I don't know, Thomas, what you mean by that. Not if Scotty. That doesn't really ring a bell. Language, please, Scotty, says Sharice. Sorry, Sharice, I shouldn't call you by your first name, but uh, I thought you'd appreciate that. So I'll call you Ms. Allison. 
A fiscal study showed Scotland couldn't survive financially. What fiscal studies are you talking about, Stephen? You must quote your sources. Uh, you know, the uh, Macron report, very, very highly respected economist, um, has made it quite clear Scotland could survive. Uh, a massive influence on the population's voting pattern. Dinky do, Scotty, says Scott Biddy. Dinky do, Scott. Phone a friend, says Sharice. Yes, phone a friend, Sharice. Freedom from Alba, says Michael Yule. Are you talking about freedom from Alba? Are you English, Michael Yule, and you want freedom from Scotland? Scotland religion, really love the history of Scotland and enjoy watching you. So there we are. I'm an American. Uh, here's a teaser for you. Who was the U.S. president at the time of the Teapot Dome scandal? Are you not talking about the Boston Tea Party? So there we are. Uh, Sharice is going bzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
So there we are, Mark Andres, Dinky Do, the name Scotty McClue. Check it out. Mark Semple, you're a very intelligent man, says Kaliana Amira. We're just trying to explain the facts, Kaliana. Evening, Scotty, says B. Crafty. B. Crafty, Dinky Do, a very good evening to you. I agree, says Francis Basili. Good evening, Scotty. Excellent stuff. Bonnet, on or off? Do you like it like this? Or do you like it like that? Do you like it like this? Or do you like it like that? I used to have a thick head of hair. You're a top man, says B. Crafty. I do my best, B. Crafty. Good evening, Scotty. Good evening, you proud Scotsman, says Alex Robertson. If we cost Westminster money, you can be sure we would have got independence. Uh, the desperation is they want to keep us, and it says it all. It does, Gary Cross, and you're quite correct there. I mean, uh, Westminster has got rid of every other country that has been losing money. That's why so many countries in Africa got independence. Scottish McClure uh, on Scotty. Sharice is an ambassador for Bartlett. It's John Adams. Bit harsh, John. Sorry, Sharice. He's just taking the mints. Both, says Frances Basili. What a fine lady she is. One of the finest lovable lassies I've ever had. Ah, Scotty, hiding your age says Scott Beattie, I'm hiding nothing. So there you are. It's coming up to 11 o'clock, guys. Um, how long do you want me to stay on? Tell 10, tell 10, tell 10, tell 10 about Scotty McClue. McClue is back. We're broadcasting live and loud globally, right around the world, right now. Everybody can watch. There are nearly 2 billion people on uh, Facebook, we don't know if the algorithm lets them all know. We need to get you back on the radio, Scotty. I listened to you in the 90s. It was the only program to engage debate and give the people a voice. The people need a voice, and we need to get back on. Very, very important. So any of you who are influential with any of the big broadcasters, say we want McClure back on the wireless, please, with his phones. Let the people speak. I see. Ken, 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 Ken. Good stuff. Looking well as well. Not too bad for 82. Uh, so there you are. Uh, Charlie Sabak was stinky do. Totally agree with Martin. Scotty for Prime Minister, says Alistair King. I must say over the years, you really have been an ambassador for us all here in Scotland, says Alex Robertson. Thank you, Alex Robertson. I do do my best for Scotland, but I do feel... I need to have bigger and bigger platforms all the time. Yep, agree, you're solely missed on radio. Would it not be nice to now put your radios on and start phoning into the show? Uh, so there you are. Sandy Gibb, dinky do, lovely to have you with us. Sharice is giving us lots and lots of smiles. Can everybody share, 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 share. Uh, coming up to 11 o'clock. Is that right? Have I got the right time? Check your watches. 82. Uh, what's your favorite invention, Scotty? My own is wheels on chairs. It saves me getting up for work. So there you are. I love the talking show in the 90s. Uh, I'm old school, Scotty. Yes, we could all chip in and get Scotty FM on here. I've asked you all to chip in, Thomas Cochran. We've got a GoFundMe running. At the moment, we're trying to raise five grand. We've got uh, 560 quid. Also, 590, 590 quid already. We've got PayPal running as well. PayPal.me forward slash Scotty McClure, all one word. Um, I agree, a TV show is for you. Phone in would be great. Yes, time's correct, says Sharice. Excellent. Elizabeth Campbell's watching. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. It's 11 o'clock, says B. Crafty. Good. It's share time. Share, 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 share. If you can all get sharing right now, Dinky do, and uh, we will see what is what. I shall just give the coupon. Oh, I swatched down. Very, very warm tonight, guys, of course. Roasting hot in this room, I have to say. 
Edward Strang Steel, Ed Steel's watching. Dinky do, lovely to have you with us over in America there. I fund it, says Sharice. Yes, Sharice, you do, my darling. You stuck some serious money in there the other day. And I say, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love Scotland and would move back in an instant if they got independence. I'm planning to get a transfer of my work, says Sandy Gibb. Good luck with that, Sandy. Sorry, Scotty, I'm off tea, says Thomas Coffin, but you don't say where you're off tea. Uh, it's no letting me share. Yes, I'll let you share. Share, share, share. Share, 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 share. Share, share. Scotty McClure, lots of sharing just for you, saying dinky do. I'm just going to move this back, guys, to see if we get a wee bit more light for you. Light is so important in these things. Excellent. Now, I don't know if that's any help, and I shall move this down uh, to there, and then I shall move in a little bit. Sorry, I keep moving about, guys. So sorry, but there we are, just trying to get this right. I'm adjusting, adjusting, adjusting very much. If you're just joining us, a warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and first lord of the internet, seeing Dinky Doo. Now, Scotty, see you soon. Best wishes, says B Crafty. I'll see you soon, B. Take care of you to yourself and Dinky Doo. Excellent. Trying to hide from a thunderstorm here in the States. Happy Thursday, says Ed Strang Steel, one of the world's finest broadcasters. Dinky Doo to you, Ed. Scotty, how do I share? When I press share, it comes up and write post, copy link. Yes, no, that's fine. So click write post, and then it will say share to a group, share to a page. Uh, so all you need to do is share with the lot. James Barr, good evening from East Kilbride Taxi Owners Association. James, I haven't forgotten about you. Do not worry. Stick with us. 15th of June, Institute for Fiscal Studies, find that Scotland would suffer from austerity after independence. Stephen Wearmouth, it suffered from austerity for 311 years. And before that, it was suffering from starvation and famine. So I think with something like a thousand years of austerity behind us, we could maybe just stagger by this time. Okay, so check that with the Institute of Fiscal Studies. Freedom for Scotland, the words were wrong. Sorry, my phone's knackered. Uh, will do, Scotty, thanks, says James. No, if I do not. You should invite people to go live with you, but like the old phone, and I believe Facebook's changing it, so you can have up to 50 people on one chat. Sandy, I look forward to that, because as you know, I am a major, major communicator, and I wouldn't have a problem with that. Um, I'll do a hangout. Yes, we do hang out. But the only thing is, like last night we did a little broadcast, 1,500 saw that. Some others, 22,000 have seen them, 25,000, these kind of figures. Now, these are major figures, but for a Facebook Live video, they're quite, quite outstanding. So it just shows the world there's a huge audience out there for Scotty McClue, just waiting and wanting. Uh, Alba Gabra, Scotty, says Gary Crossan. Yes, what does that mean, Gary Crossan? Come on, type me right now what that means. Translate it. Don't Google it. Just translate it right now and let me know what you think that means. Derek Jimmy Walker's watching. Dinky do give him a wave. We wave for you, Derek Jimmy Walker. I've waved back. Dinky do. And that's got you. That's excellent stuff. First class. I see. And uh, I'm going to have to go shortly. What's the time? It's 11 o'clock already. Five past. So there are five past 11. And uh, we shall see what is what. Now, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, first lord of the internet. A little bit dark tonight because we've just done what's called an ad hoc pop-up just for you and uh, I'm in a room I'm not in the major studio or anything like that so you're not going to be seeing it terribly bright there we are uh, Google it please give Wagga Promotions a shout out 
Jalisco Bride, WAGA, W-A-G-G-A, capital letters, WAGA Promotions. All of you look that up. Hello, Scotty was speaking to Chad in America, says Derek Jimmy Walker. I was. English translation is Scotland forever, says Gary Crossan. So there we are. So you're needing English to translate it. Scotland forever. But I think it always has been forever. So I don't think we need to worry too much about that. Derek, says Sharice, and lots of smiley faces. Now, tap, 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 with the smiley faces. Let's have a few more of these and a few more thumbs up, guys. I think that's very important. So tap, tap your screens. Come on. Tap, 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 tap. And a share, of course, lots and lots of shares. So there we are. Uh, Seamus Patrick Gallagher's watching. Thank you do. A wave to you, Seamus Patrick. Lovely to have you with us tonight. And a very warm welcome to Facebook's finest platform here with Scotty McClure saying dinky do to every single one of you. It is looking good, says Francis Basili. Are you enjoying it, Francis? Good pop up. Breaks the tears say we don't want to pay Europe no more. Scots Indies say we don't want to send money to Westminster. One group are wrong and will harm the UK. What harm will Indy do? Indy will not do any harm at all because the real separatists are the Brexiteers. They're the ones who have broken Britain. So there you are. So what I would say is cancel Brexit tomorrow if possible. Phone up all the various people in Europe say, look, we've made a bit of a pig's ear of all this. We do apologise. Hope you won't hold it against us. We're rescinding Article 50. We're cancelling Brexit. ASAP, because we don't think it's the best thing for us. We can't trust trust half of the uh, 40 million people who voted because we gave them duff gen. We told them whoppers. So there you are. There must be a big reason why England don't want Scotland to go. There is a big reason. In fact, there's 40 billion reasons why um, England don't want to go. Sandy Gibbs says, love Europe. Well, Europe's great. You see, Scotland has always been very pro-Europe because it traded with France. Scotland's queen, Scotland's monarch, Mary Queen of Scots, spoke French in her household. That's how you get marmalade. When she wasn't well, they used to get a little pot of vitamin C and uh, boil up the oranges, <coughs> get the vitamin C, and they would shout throughout the household, Marmus Malad! Marmus Malad! Marmalade! Marmalade! Do you see? There you are. There's a bit of knowledge for you, I can tell you. Wendy says, hello, Scott. This is Derek Jimmy Walker. Uh, Kimraha, ooh, that's the Gaelic I remember. Kimraha, ooh, hachimachi, falchi, falchi, kidamili falchi, don scotchach mcluch, and the phoning. So there you are. There's a bit of Gaelic for you. The SNP used to be anti-EU. Yes, the SNP used to be a lot of things. So there you are. But they're not they're not a nationalistic party in a way. The Scottish National Party is not the best title for the fact that we're on the verge of becoming an independent country. So there you are. Uh, English is how are you, says Catherine Murray. That's absolutely correct, Catherine Murray. Go to the top of the class. Pass go, collect £200 and help yourself to the electricity stations and uh, the old Kent Road. I think Mary Queen of Scots was James the Sixth mother. Is that right? Yes, Jamie Stewart was the son of Mary Queen of Scots, who should never, ever, ever, ever have been beheaded, nor should Charles the First have been divided into head and a body. These are the kind of idiots that thought they could do without a monarchy. Wrong, 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 wrong. Bonnet, says Dave Joyce. Bonnet on a bonnet off. Uh, Govan Hill, four million benefit fraud thoughts, says William Mack. Ooh, lots of thoughts, William Mack. But we'll not go into that right now because we're discussing something else. Gus McPhee is watching, didn't you do? 
Lovely to have you with us, Gus. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet. And this is our Thursday evening pop-up. Very, very busy. Like, shared and invited, says Andy Hughes. We don't have any electricity stations anymore. Sorry, can't give it to her. London sold them all. Yes, Battersea Power Station. Designed by, can anybody remember? There we are. Giles Gilbert Scott, the man that did the phone boxes at Liverpool Cathedral. How good is that? You should be on Mastermind, Mr. McClure, says Gary Crossan. Mastermind, absolutely. Uh, washed up used to be funny. Is it too much pudding, says Dave Joyce. No, Dave Joyce. Wrong, 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 wrong. You cannot judge people by your own standards. Not washed up. Not used to be funny, never ever claimed to be funny, and haven't had too much pudding. All right, so there you are. Excellent stuff. So you got that wrong, Dave Joyce. I have never heard so much shech topped by so few to so many. Excellent. So there you are, with apologies to uh, W.S. Churchill, W.L.S. Churchill. Kukenzi too, yeah, they brought down the Kukenzi. And I used to love it where I lived in East Lothian. When I walked the dog up what I called Golden Hill, I could see the Kukenzi power station chimneys. It's all a load of tosh, Scotty, Brexit, India the lot. It's all separatists. So there you are. So J.P. McCarran, Dinky do. Share, 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 says Andy Hughes. Excellent stuff. Dave Joyce is laughing his head off now because he stands corrected. Washed, I'll give you washed up. Haven't even scratched the surface yet. We're only starting in mainstream broadcasting. And a guy on a, a bloke called Jim Blair talking nonsense as well earlier. Alistair Bajak, didn't he do? Lovely to have you with us. Welcome, 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 I say. And it's interesting because the results were out for radio stations today. Uh, who designed the London sewer system? Was that not Eisenbard Kingdom Brunel? Was he not your man that actually was in there at the start? A wonderful setup. Uh, will the donation go to your GoFundMe for me, says uh, Thomas. Absolutely. GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClure or click on it. You'll see it there. Excellent. And of course, anything you can spare, very, very, very much appreciated. Many down south want English independence, says Martin Morgan. Could not come soon enough, Martin. My first boyfriend was from Musselburgh, says Sharice I. Musselburgh Ken and the river just coming in there. The fourth. Excellent stuff into Musselburgh. Uh, Wilma Brown, Dinky you know, Is it the fourth? No, it's not. What's the river right through Musselburgh? So there we are. Do tell. It is the fourth. Am I right? Uh, was it a horse charisse? Says Stephen Weirmouth. Ooh, Stephen Weirmouth. Very naughty milk for the pussycat. Uh, so there we are. Basil Jet, says Martin Morgan. What is Martin Morgan? Oh, the Basil Jet, the River Basil Jet. I don't think so, is it? Dave Joyce says no. What do you mean no? No to what, Dave Joyce? You're speaking in tongues tonight. Ivor Timpson and Gordon Roddick, one of our finest broadcasters, is watching. I am honoured and privileged, sir, and I thank you for your support. What a marvellous man. Gordon Roddick there, a man who I worked with for many, many years at Scottish Television. And he was, I think, the first announcer on Scottish Television. Have I got it right, Gordon? So excellent stuff. There we are still a very, very handsome gentleman and a great presenter. Now, um, what is the time? McClure has to be about Musselburgh, only uphill from there. Musselburgh is very nice. Lovely race course there. Loretta School, excellent. Stephen, nice course, says Cherise. Cherise, do be careful. Language, language. I will say thank you, Scotty. I don't skydive so much these days, says Alistair Bajack. You're not skydiving. Excellent, Alistair. Well, there we are. What a brave guy. I do like it. My father was dropped into war zones 
on Horsa Gliders. Anybody heard of them? Bizzle Shot, told you, we're washed up. Who's washed up? Are you washed up? You should go and get washed up. You're on late, says Ian Hales, correct Ian? Nothing gets past you. Uh, where nothing I, as iconic as the bonnet. Basil Jett built the London sewers. Yes, he did. You're quite right. But Brunel had an input, I think you'll find. Check that out. Is Mrs. McClure asleep? Yes, that's why I'm talking quietly. She's giving it Zed's next door. Uh, race course, Scotty. Yes, I know the race course. I used to live close to Musselbra. I know it, dinky do. Time to give my coupon a bit of a swatch down. Hang on. Do not go away. Oh, my goodness me. Right, there we are. That's better. A quick pop-up, of course, Thursday evening pop-up. Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Now, we know about the race course. The reason for the pop-up tonight was just to make every independent supporter aware that when Scotland becomes independent, Her Majesty the Queen will still be the holder of the Scottish Crown, still be the holder of the Crown, and will be the curator of the Crown and our Sovereign Lady. I do hope people realise that. Gordon says he started announcing STV in October 1957, two months after the station went on air. How marvellous, Gordon. So they are October 57. So it went on air in uh, August 1957. But I can remember early film of you taking television to the Highlands and Islands to demonstrate it for the people and some of the old ladies and gentlemen running away from it, thinking they were actually going to be on. I think it was marvellous stuff uh, because Grampian Television, of course, didn't start until, was it 1960 or maybe even 61? Um, I can't remember exactly. I should remember because I used to work with them. Uh, so there you are. Uh, what was that? I missed that, actually. What if the Queen renounces the Scottish Crown? The Queen would never renounce the Scottish Crown because it would need to have a curator and a wearer. So there you are, a wearer, because the Crown has always been our focus for thousands of years based on the Crown of Christ. I thought I saw a UFO one night so they are, and I crapped it. Do not port sitting. So they are. Thanks for that, Sharice. These are the kind of facts that we like to hear. Shujat Ali is watching one of the country's top radio broadcasters and radio owners. Lovely to have you with us, Shujat. What a top man. Uh, God save the Queen. Ask her if she fancies moving to Scotland permanently. Sandy Gibb, she's got uh, the availability of many, many houses in Scotland. She's got Bomoro. She's got Edinburgh Castle. She's got Holyrood House. She's got Falkland Palace. I think she actually has Lynn Lithgow. Um, and uh, probably would get um, a bed at Dunstaffnage and get a piece at the door at Tarbert. So there you are. Because Tarbert was Bruce's residence. Bruce was on the run in Tarbert. I was a wee nipper in 1961, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Amazing. Uh, Gordon, if you're still watching, uh, did STV of the whole of Scotland at the time before Grampian and Border started up? Um, it'd be good if you could tell us. I took half, says Sharice. You took half with a UFO. Sharice, let's have it straight. If you were the captain of a UFO, would you go to Port Seaton? So there you are. You're thick, says Dave Joyce. Uh, thick. What do you mean thick, Dave Joyce? Do you mean I'm very, very strong? That sort of idea. Uh, check that bonnet, says Dave Joyce. Absolutely. Balmoral's the best. I'd move in there. Well, do you know Balmoral well? Because it's not necessarily the best. It's a lovely state. Um, they, uh, they bought it as a smaller house. Victorian Albert bought it and refurbished it in 1854, I think it was. And uh, I think that's the date on it. But the, the rooms, the be guest bedrooms, a lot of them, I believe, are quite small. So there you are. So I don't know. What's your favourite meal, Scotty? I do like a wee fish and chip. I have to be honest. And sometimes the fish 
is absolutely lovely. Where I am at the moment, the fish is outstanding. A curator, says Dave Joyce. I am indeed. Hey, mate, are you on holiday? It looks like an hotel you're in. Yes, I'm in a very, very, very fine hotel indeed. To Skelly. I'm on a project. I was uh, six days on the run, says Sharice. I hope you're all right now. I know what it's like. It's difficult to go out when you're like that. But you can take some stuff that dries it up. Uh, I prefer one of the smaller cottages, says Sandy Gimp. Ah, oh, Sandy Gimp, yes. You like your tourism. I love Blair Athol, says Sharice. Blair, Blair Athol's lovely. And Blair Castle, the home of the uh, Clan Murray. So there you are, the Murrays of Athol. And I knew uh, the last Duke, wonderful chap, uh, Wee Ian, he was called. He was six foot four. I uh, died quite young. Enjoyed your wee show tonight, Scotty. This is Martin Monaghan. Martin Monaghan, you're very, very welcome. Lovely to be of service. That's what Scotty McClure's life is about. Sorry, pal, I'm falling asleep. Up at six for work. Thanks for the pop-up. Good night, Gary. Um, all you need is a string vest, says Dave Joyce. Are you asking us or telling us, Dave? They are, what do you need a string vest for? What's your favourite joke, says Francis Basili. Well, I don't know. I don't know if I told you I fell out a four-storey window. And I hit the ground and a policeman ran up and he said, what happened? I said, I don't know. I've just got here myself. So there we are. Uh, it's very nice. The castle is stunning. Says Sharice, yes, absolutely, dinky-doo. Now, uh, what's the time? So I don't want to take up too much of your time, guys. It's Scotty O'Cleary, the first lord of the internet, and, of course, the world sort broadcaster, saying dinky-doo to every one of you. Remember, the Scotty McClure YouTube channel is out there. Get yourself on LinkedIn. Follow Scotty McClure on Google+. Plus. This is surreal, to say the least. I don't know what you're doing, Dave Joyce. You could be up to anything. No, Scotty, STV only transmitted to central Scotland. A few years later, Grampian started transmitting to the north of Scotland. So there was nothing then in the north of Scotland uh, before. So it would be the the islands that you were at rather than the highlands, I would imagine, Gordon. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your kind response to that. Very, very much appreciated. Martin Mark is laughing. Have you in Inverness? Says Sharice. I know Sharice, we don't need to know about your private life. Whopper, says uh, Dave Joyce. Well, you're the one that's told it. Uh, miss my beef olives. I can't get them in Bournemouth. You can't beat a good beef olive. I say, or a bit of Cumberland sausage. Neil me. I can't believe that Bournemouth right now, it's a very swish part of the world down there. And I can't believe that Bournemouth can't manage a beef olive and a wee bit of spiced ham. He's up to no good, Scotty, that Dave Joyce says she's, I'm just wondering about him. There's a lot of confessions going on here from him. He needs to step up to the plate. Sharice, Dave Joyce is laughing now. He's never been talked about so much in his life and he knows there's only one thing worse than being talked about. That's not being talked about at all. Right, I'm going to have to push off. It's been lovely, lovely to have you with us. Oh, says Sharice. Too much pudding, says Dave Joyce. I think you have had, but I'm sure you'll be able to carry it well. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky do to every single one of you. Share, 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 share this show. Uh, sausage smoked, you like the smoked sausage and the smoked beef, Charisse, excellent stuff. And um, what to do, uh, lots and lots of sharing, and I'll see you all Sunday night at 9 o'clock sharp. In fact, no, it might be 9.30, but I'll keep you posted. I'll pop up what we call our purple notes, and that will let you know what's what. Until then, this is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir and a cheerio. Ta-ra, loves, and dinky-doo.